Thank you for tuning back into the Z project. Today I will show you how to make this printers inspired coffee table. You will need four wooden crates. I brought mine from Joann's for a little over $9 each. You will also need four six inch wooden table legs from Home Depot for about $3.48 each. Clear semi-gloss polyurethane. Wood stain in the color of your choice. I chose red mahogany. A pack of steel tea nuts. This is what the table legs will screw into. One inch wood screws. A drill bit and the drill that is in the background. You will also need two types of bumpers. One will go under the plexiglass top and the other is for the table corners. And one sheet of plexiglass from Lowe's. I had them cut it to the dimensions of the table. All products and sizes used will be listed in the description box. Now remove the paper and any glue from the crate. And next, take an old rag that has seen better days and begin to apply the stain in the same direction as the grain of wood. Make sure to get all the nooks and crannies of the wood. You will do the same for the sides, the bottom, and the inside of the crates. Next, stain the legs of the table the same way that you did for the crates. This is how everything should look once it is stained. In the same way that you apply the stain, you're going to apply the polyurethane gloss coating. And this is the design I used to assemble the crates. I do apologize for the lighting. It was hard to get good lighting inside of the crates for filming, but you are going to screw two screws at the top and two at the bottom, attaching the solid ends and the slats of the crates. It sounds a little confusing and complicated, but I'm pretty sure you can see what I'm talking about. Next, you will use the table legs, the T-nuts, and the drill bit. You are going to drill a hole about one to one and a half inches away from the edge of the crate. Next, you are going to take the T-nut and insert it on the inside of the crate with the prongs touching the wood. Then you will screw the leg into the T-nut and as you screw tighter, the T-nut prongs will pull into the wood securing the leg of the table. This is what it should look like once everything is assembled. Next, take the small square bumpers and place them on all four corners of the table. Take the sheet of plexiglass and remove the protecting covering. Next, carefully line up the edges of the plexiglass and the table and place it on the square bumpers. 
It would be helpful to have an extra set of hands for this part. And last, take the corner bumpers and apply them to all the corners of the table. And then you are all done. And this is my finished result. I hope you guys like this. And as always, definitely give this a try and connect with me on Instagram and Twitter. And do not forget to subscribe and like this video. And I will see you guys next time.